Okay, so um, I think this video is going to be interesting today because, like, Integrum had just changed their name into Make. And uh, yeah, the prices sky skyrocket today. So I heard actually they had a left hand deal, by the way. Um, so in this video, I was thinking to compare Integramat with NA10. It's another tool I use. I use most of them, like both very often, as well as Public Connect, actually. I mean, I could just place also this review with that. Yeah, yeah so let's go with the good, the bad, and the rest. So Integromat is really good, to be honest. If the pricing wasn't like that uh, high, and also the fact that they, you pay for the operation, like I came from a developer background, right? And the fact of paying for operations is a little bit, is a bit crazy to think of for me a little bit. Because like AWS, for example, you can take a server or in, even digital ocean, it's basically free. Like it, it costs you $5 and you have a limited operation. You just pay for the electricity. Yeah, you could even have your bare server and it'll be coming to that in a moment. <clears throat> so, yeah, but the, the easiness of use is crazy. Like this stuff looks like Miro, and Miro is amazing. Like it's so easy to configure stuff, though it has big limitations, right? Like, for example, some API don't work, right? You don't, you cannot run custom code, as I as I think here yeah, code. Yeah, because this stuff, this platform has so many users and security as well. It's, it's a big issue. Um. The route modules and stuff, you know, there are some limitations. Also, you can only have one trigger for the whole scenario. And this limits you. And the thing is that, what I think is that you should never adapt um, yourself to the technique, but always the technique to yourself, kind of, right? Um, yeah, because, I mean, yeah, actually, this sentence I heard it from. Uh, they need artists, I think it was. It was a magician friend, uh, friend, I mean, it was a very cool guy. Yeah. So anyway, anything is better, I think, the Integromat. And let me explain you why. I mean, better is a bad word. I don't know, I, I don't want to say that, but I think that it's free. The fact that it's free, free, open source. Already these two words are like, then it's like a limited <clears throat> functionality, let's say, a limited scenarios, a limited uh, credits, a limited storage that you can store. It's all limited, basic. Actually, it's, it is limited, but like it depends on your server. But the storage is so cheap on AWS right now that like also the fact that I mean, let me show you one scenario to show you how it looks like stuff. So open maybe. Uh, yeah, I was working with this, with to this like sales funnel, right? And it's nice actually. Like, um, let me show you. So, oh, there was even an update today. You see, uh, they update it so quick, so often that it's crazy because it's open source. There are crazy ton of developers working on this thing that they want it to be always good, right? The problem is that when you have a paid tool, the team needs to be good. The, for example, the Integromat, you cannot wait months to have, uh, like, for example, YouTube. They don't have YouTube yet, but NA10, you had it like, always had it like YouTube. Let's see, you see that? NA10. So, also in the easiness of use, like to do something like this, right? Right, that's, you have one action that, does two things. You will need a router in uh, Integromat. Like this, is just connect them. How cool is that? I mean, it cuts you off some time, right? Maybe some mil, some some couple of seconds. But at the end of the month, this month, even year, these seconds could be a, a long time. Could be like weeks that you're stealing from here, from what you want to do. So. Yeah, and like the fact that they are so easy and also the design is crazy. And like I can run the three triggers, like cron one, cron two, uh, and even like an Airtable trigger I can do. And even a web, a web hook in the same thing. 
and I can keep track. I can see the big picture view. That's the thing. With Integromat, you can create a lot of modules, but you need to go crazy to remember, oh, this thing did that, that, and then I can connect like this. This is much easier. Like, even there is also another thing that is cool, I think, is the merge data functionality. Like in the, I think is in the flow, you can merge data points, kind of, right? So like, for example, I have some data point coming from here, and I have some data point coming from the other place, and I can merge them into one single database. And you can even add code modules. It's all in JavaScript even. The thing is that there are some dynamic functions, you know, like if you open, for example, one of this stuff, right? You can define how you want to log into uh, two things, right? And even variables. So it's like, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Um, let me see, so here. For example, you see this is all JavaScript. JavaScript stuff that you can manipulate. You can add like, for example, dot lower. And it would work basically, you see. It's like, yeah, I mean, right now there is nothing in that, in that so it doesn't show up. It's a very cool tool. Really, really cool. Like even a randomness. I think that's, I don't know if like, if Integromat has a randomness thing going on. But uh, this tool does, for example. Right. And yeah, you have unlimited uh, cron jobs. You can have unlimited credentials saved. And you can even export it for free to your friends. You can export uh, the code. How do you do that? Just go to workflow, download. And this stuff is easy, is so, so light. It's just like, and it doesn't save the password in the JSON, so you can just uh, give it to anyone. Okay, all this stuff you see here is just a JSON thing, which is like the same as Integromat, though, like similar. Actually, I'm starting to believe that Integromat uses an ATAN in the background, and they just run it on their own server and they sell that, uh, which is good, actually. I mean, I mean, they are offering support even, but even, to be honest, uh, the documentation of uh, and it is much better than the one of Integromat, I think, because it's made for developers, right? Not like people pretending to be a developer, like not pretending, but I, I want to say just the community is a community of experts. That's the thing, right? Let me show you the community, how it looks like. So this is the forum, right? On the other end, like on Integromat, <clears throat> in terms of community, they don't have a forum like this. They have a Facebook group where like people speak and maybe they don't know even how to ask the question in the right way. They ask it very unprofessionally. These are all developers, right? So it's so much easier to find the answer to your questions. So much, like, <clears throat> I know, like this guy had a problem, for example, and the people like just solve it and they, they give uh, detailed instructions, advanced, but sometimes advanced stuff are the easiest to implement. Like, cause like the tool doesn't limit you. And yeah, whether, it's the same thing that I was trying to say before that you should adapt yourself. You should not adapt uh, yourself to the tool, but the tool to yourself, right? But I mean, yeah, maybe it's a different target audience, right? But another thing that I think is that like, if you don't know how to drive a car and somebody gives you, a, gives you the key and in an open field, like in the desert, eventually we'll figure out how to drive that car, right? I mean, eventually. So it's connected. It's all connected. Uh, also, the, the, another, another comparison. Here in Tegra, we have some templates, okay? They're calling, they're calling them templates, but And the templates are, are not given by the community, okay? These are templates Integromat gave for you, okay. Which is good, actually it's good, like, because the community is not able to. Uh, perhaps, this is what they believe, like, there are not many, many experts uh, in the field, in the field. But here, 
experts. Anybody can upload because it's open source. And you, ha you get uh, access to workflows uh, of crazy scenarios, complicated. Because, I mean, uh, let's be real. I mean, uh, if somebody, you should do this stuff professionally, right? The more complicated is the thing, the better is you're going to be your paid because, like, you're going to get paid for the for how difficult is your problem to solve, right? More or less. And, uh, yeah, this tool helps you a lot. Like, there are crazy, crazy scenarios, like craziness stuff, and everybody can publish their, uh, their workflow to the community. How cool is that? Like, there are craziness stuff. I even saw some AI stuff here. The ENC, for example, Integromat. But nonetheless, like, Integromat is really good, like, to automate stuff. I, I think that some, for some things, it's much easier, Integromat, uh, the way it's developed. Uh, like, for example, the Google, uh, Google, Google Slides uh, API, I prefer it from Integromat. I think it's really good the way they did it. It's so much easier. Also, the Airtable API is much, especially the update functionality. In NA10, it's, so, it's a bit complicated because it's not very intuitive. You need to make a set object and then input it into an Airtable, which is, <laughs> it's a bit like that, you know. I, I like minimal style. All right, and uh, let's also, um, also actually, I didn't talk about Public Connect. It's also not bad, Public Connect. Uh, I think it's better than uh, Zapier. It's a mix between Zapier and Integromat, but it's not at the same level of any kind. Yeah, so I would place uh, in the top position in any 10, then Integromat, then Public Connect. Uh, actually, Public Connect and any and they tend to work really well together, I think. Because there are some triggers, for example, that in Nathan I couldn't find. And like I could implement them, right? Kind of with a common job. But I don't want to. It would take a lot of time. So I could just use Public Connect as a um, as a as a trigger that can send to N A10 um some uh, signals. A, and any time could take them with some web books, right? Like this stuff here. This is a, a web book, this thing here. All right. So, yeah, so that's uh, not bad at all, actually. <clears throat> and that's it. So, cool. Anything else uh, I wanted to say? Nothing. I think it's really cool this stuff, and uh, looking forward to to start uh, to start anything. Yeah, I, I think is yeah. Public Connect is is good as a trigger. The only thing I use it for is trigger, and then any time. The only thing that maybe scares me a little bit about any time is um, yeah, it's basically uh, it's basically the fact that, for example. Like a bad update could make everything crash and you could lose every, everything. And it's not saved anywhere in particular. Yeah, so yeah. So you need to know your your stuff with AWS if you want to deploy it here. Maybe set up some snapshot stuff. So it, it, you need to be a little bit conscious as well as like, you know a little bit about security groups in AWS. If you do that, security groups, uh, ACLs, access control lists, uh, uh, certificates as well. Uh, yeah, you need to know how to deploy a certificate, which is completely non-intuitive in AWS. I mean, they tell you to wait, but it's a joke. They don't want you to wait. You will in one year. It will be there if you wait. So anyway, yeah. So there are some things maybe for topics for another video though. Uh, yeah, I could I could make a video about how to set up uh, NA10 because it's really unlimited. Like it's very really good for stuff, so it's very interesting. All right, uh, let's uh, end up this comparison video. I think uh, my thoughts were fine.